I'm back again. Uh, yesterday we did the first uh, electrostatic uh, experiment with this piece of graph oil that I put aluminum on one half of this side and then copper on one half of that side. And then I showed you that you could uh, you get zero if you do that and then but if you touch yeah, super high right now look at there I was gonna look at that it's 0.60 uh, I mean it's over a half a volt although I got it uh, electrodes reversed there ah interesting now it's zero again Maybe I just figure find out something else. Now it's zero. Okay. <coughs> but here's what I what I was going to show you. I don't know what happened right there, but you know when you put the uh, here I am doing it backwards again. But when you rub it on the, you can push the push the voltage up by you know rubbing it. And then, of course, if you take your fingers off of it, you get nothing. And, you know, our natural um, voltage of our bodies is about 70 millivolts. And, and look, that's way higher than that. Ten times higher, just about. But then, if you flip it over and, and do the same thing on this side, you get nothing. If you touch it, you get nothing. You rub it, you get nothing. It's only on that side that you get anything. And it appears to be amplifying your uh, your body's amperage. And then I discovered that if you take a piece of paper and put it put the copper on that side of the paper that when you touch it, it was it would go even higher. I was getting uh, seven, seven hundred. There we go. And I'm not sure what's going on here, but then if you put it to uh, put the other side on the on the paper, I didn't get the same effect. Well, now I am. Weird. I'm not. Ah, uh, they see it's dropping. And then, <laughs> if I put it on a thicker piece of paper, I've got this t paper towel folded over on the end here. And when I did that, I even got a higher voltage, which I'm not getting anymore. But anyway, I mean, I, this is a, I'm at a kind of a quandary trying to figure out what's, uh, what's happening here. I mean, there's obviously some static effects, and but there's looks like there's some galvanic e effects too, you know. And uh, it looks to me like they're tied together somehow, and I know I can't figure it out. But this seems like it has potential to uh, to collect uh, energy from the environment. I mean, uh, we're not uh, we're not putting anything into this, but we're definitely I'm getting some voltage out of it, and it, so it seems to me like there ought to be some way that we could use this and, and collect some power. Yeah, there, we got 0.6 of a volt just by touching your body. What well, if you had this in some clothes, in your clothes, where you would uh, get some friction, you know, and in contact with your body? and then use that to store the power in a little capacitor or something. But anyway, 
I just think this is fascinating right here, and I, I can't explain it. So if any of you guys got any ideas of what the hell is going on here, let me know. All right, thanks for watching.